you know, it's been said that Prince Harry, the former royal, known as Prince Harry, I might point out, is not that bright, you know, and really was shielded from a lot growing up by his mother, the late Princess Diana. But as we've seen really over the last few days, in particular the last couple of years, it's really rising to the fore, isn't it? And it's not for me to comment. But when you think about it, if you're going to come up with sort of outlandish claims and plots and, uh, you know, lines of theory, then you truly do have to back it up. But more importantly, not trip yourself up. Now, seemingly once again, the former royal known as Prince Harry has well and truly gone and dropped his beloved wife, Meghan Markle, truly in it. As ever, let me explain. Morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. And obviously now we all know that certain aspects of the, uh, the book that allegedly we're all waiting to spend our hard-earned cash on has now been dropped. And it's strange, isn't it? I love those phrases, dropped. Can't be secretly given, exposed, uh, given to someone to give a review for, uh, particularly the soft side of media, you know what I'm saying. But again, you know, when you find these stories that are coming out, and if I was Penguin Random House, and think, is this the best you truly can come up with? you know the fact that your brother lost his temper with you in your home threw you to the ground by the dog bowl it's, it's like a scene out of scooby-doo <laughs> it's quite amusing really and of course a lot of um, you know snowflakes are saying oh yes it's mental health it's abuse it's attack no it's simply siblings having a heated argument over someone who allegedly been there rather cruel to their staff members that's the background to this story but as ever it's what harry reveals inadvertently that actually gives away the game of how these particular stories simply don't hold credibility now we've seen this over a number of occasions with his own mental health chats with his own uh, documentaries with oprah winfrey and then of course the docuseries with netflix but it's this particular line, you see, during that extract from the book, Harry basically claims that, you know, they had this heated argument over the way apparently he and Meghan were being abusive to certain staff members or indeed the way that they were treating them. It all resulted, as I say, in said argument and the necklace split into the floor like a scene out of a Joan Crawford film, isn't it? <laughs> but then Harry tripped up and as ever, let me explain. It's one simple line, you see, because what you have to be careful of is exactly how you expose yourself. What Harry did was said, and quote, and this is in his own words, remember, that he, the first person he went to speak to was none other than his therapist. Now, this is the therapist that Meghan Markle didn't have access to while living in Nottingham Cottage. The one that, you know, even though she reached out to the institution, they said, no, it would be bad, you know, we can't have you talking to anybody. So, slap bang, there is your obvious lie. The bottom line is, of course, Harry was under therapy and had been for many years, you know, prior to even meeting Meghan Markle. And as ever, we have to say allegedly, but this comes from an impeccable royal source. So, once again, they decided to shape their narrative. But inadvertently, once again, Prince Harry has basically outlawed, outlined and outexposed his lying wife, Meghan Markle, about whether she, of course, was offered any line of mental health support. Now, I wonder how that's now truly going to go down in that Montecito mansion. As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.